The other day I made a short video looking at just twisting a piece of angle iron. A lot of people said they thought that'd make a good handle for something. So I then forge welded angle iron onto a 5 8 round bar to make a handle. And this is what that looks like. If you would like to see that video, it's on the main Black Bear Forge channel. And I'm going to link to that at the very end of this video. So stick around and then you'll see the link to go to this video. But in this video, I thought we would turn this into something. And the thing I decided to do is make this into a little fireplace shovel. So I'm not going to do much more with this. This is pretty much done. I'll just have to adapt this so that it will hold the shovel pan. But we need to make that shovel pan, and that's where we're going to start today. And for that, I've got a piece of sheet. This is about an eighth inch thick. I would normally use something a little bit thinner, but this is what I was able to find. And I've got a pattern that I keep around just for doing these. And I'm going to just trace around that with a silver pencil. And then we'll go cut that out. Black Bear Forge is sponsored by Combat Abrasives. Use the link in the video description and the coupon code BLACKBEAR10 for a discount on your next order. I'm going to go ahead and work in the gas forge today so I can get this entire thing hot at once. Then I'll start shaping this over the bottom of an old oxygen cylinder. It makes a really nice forming swedge for things like this. Alternately, you can go to the anvil and flatten this out a little bit to keep the bottom flat, but you do want to create that lip all the way around the back side. And before long, you have something that really does look like a shovel. A large steel ball with a shank that fits your hardy hole is another good way to refine some of this shape. I'll let that cool, then I'll take it back to the grinder, clean up any irregularities, and then we'll be ready to deal with the handle. After a little grinding to clean up the edges of the shovel pan, I'll just do a little bit of cold work on the anvil to flatten out a couple little wrinkles on the edge, then we really will be onto the handle. And 
And for this, I'm going to start just by cutting it off, not any specific length, it doesn't really matter as long as it's long enough to suit your purposes. Finish drawing out the square section of this and then create a transition that will rivet to that shovel pan. Next, I want to forge an offset in the handle where the shovel blade is going to go. And I'll do that using half face blows at the near edge of the anvil. This resulting tab needs to be shaped to fit the shovel pan. Perhaps just a little bit of grinding, just to clean that little burr up on the end there. I need to center punch this for a couple of rivets to hold the handle to the shovel pan. Make sure everything is straight and in line before you drill for this second rivet, otherwise you end up with a crooked shovel. I'm going to put this back in the forge and take care of any misalignment that might be there. It's pretty straight, but I do like them to kick up just a little bit at the end. I think they're easier to use. So we're going to do that and give it a good wire brushing. As this cooled, I put a little beeswax on it to finish it off. Gives it a nice dark black finish and should keep it from rusting for quite a few years. If you'd like to see how I did the handle end, I'll link to that video over on the main Black Bear Forge site right up there. And if you've already seen that video, perhaps this video would be of interest to you. Hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.